China Grass or Agar Agar is going to set this famous Bombay style Faluda with Kesar and Rose Milk, Jello and Faluda Noodles and Sabja or Basil Seeds. It's then set and garnished before serving. If you've had Bombay Faluda, you're going to love this recipe. This is a China grass version of Bombay Faluda. I've layered all of the flavors that you get in a Bombay Faluda in a China grass form. It's absolutely delicious. Before I go any further with this recipe, to make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I prepared some bread jello overnight and I will now boil some faluda noodles. These noodles are made out of cornstarch but you can also use any other type of fine noodles. These are basil seeds also called sabja or tukumaria. They look and bloom exactly like the chia seeds. Soak these in water and unlike the chia seeds, these bloom in about 10 minutes. I have some saffron strands or kesar here and I'm going to allow these to steep in some warm milk. China grass, also known as agar agar, needs to be soaked in some room temperature water for about 10 minutes before boiling. There are different ratios for setting the liquid out there. Anywhere from 15 to 25 grams of China grass is good to set 500 ml of liquid. I tend to use about 25 as I like a firm texture. Allow this to boil till the strands disappear into the liquid. Typically, I will strain this to catch any of the strands. In this recipe, I'm probably not going to strain it as it will add to the faluda texture I'm going for anyway. This is 50 grams of China grass since I'm making a large bowl for a party. I have 700 ml of milk here and I will add 300 ml of condensed milk. This is going to give me a total of one liter. Stir this in and add 6 to 8 teaspoons of sugar or to taste. You can also just use 1 litre of milk and increase the sugar to your taste. Turn the heat off and since I'm planning to make a kesar milk layer at the bottom, I'm going to add a cup of milk to the steeping kesar and roughly about 2 tablespoons of the china grass liquid. Like I mentioned before, you can strain this if you wish. I'm going to gently pour this into the bottom of my dish and I'm going to keep it in the fridge till it's set. Note that china grass sets very quickly, especially in thin layers. While it sets, I'm going to add roux afsa or rose syrup to the rest of the milk. You can add a quarter to a half cup or as much as you would like as per your taste. I'm going to try to cool this down since we have to set this over the first layer as well as I will be adding some jello. For any other recipe that you're making with china grass, you wouldn't need to cold the milk down. I'm now going to add the china grass to the milk and this time I'm not going to strain it. Now I'm going to add the china grass gently over the kesar layer. Add some jello and some of the cooked faluna noodles. Because of the jello, I'm just going to gently add the china grass to the bowl. I'm also going to add in the bloomed basil seeds into the milk and I'm going to top this as well. When this is cool enough to handle, I'm going to transfer this to the fridge and chill it overnight. Once this is set and cool, I'm going to garnish it with some more rose syrup, sliced almonds and pistachios and some pistachio powder. Enjoy! Thank you so 
much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Bombay Faluda China Grass. It's a great recipe. You can make this for your family and friends and everyone's going to love it. If you love my videos, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Share them with your family and friends. And don't forget, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel as well as that you've rung the bell so you're notified as soon as I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my other social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok. Till I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.